Hello there. Definitely not a warrant video today, but something I still wanted to share you, and this is this small package. An LDO Orbiter Extruder 2nd Edition, which I recently bought and which I'm planning to install on Voron 2.4. Let's do a bit of unboxing and tear down and see how it works. Uh, but first of all, yes, let's talk about Orbiter Extruder. Um, the initial design created by Mr. Lawrence Robert uh, was done with the goal of creating a very small and ultra lightweight extruder with zero backslash uh, and uh, well of a very compact size which can be used as a uh, extruder for a delta printers without having a long bowden tube so ultra compact ultra lightweight and ultra powerful and uh, why it's called orbiter because it has the orbitary gearbox well why are why the orbitary gearbox you can indeed have a couple simple gears so you can have a small motor this is a 10 toothed uh, LDO motor and you can add some gears uh, forming a gearbox and uh, those have a bigger torque but you will add a backslash the more gears you have like linearly uh, the bigger is the backslash and the more unstable the extruder is with the planetary gearbox and I have a lot an image explaining how it works uh, you have close to zero backslash so it's very stable when motor is holding uh, well your filament doesn't move so let's unbox this oh that's tight what do we have here? We have packaging, we have a note, thank you for your order from the LDO Motors. Color of snow, the white winter, red Christmas, warm color of the season, if the day of the snow we hope our blessing can drive away the cold out of the window. Merry Christmas to you and peace forever. I bought this in February, still it's about the Christmas, whatever. It has some part of documentation, Orbiter 2.0 firmware configuration. Uh, basic configuration steps 690 steps steps per millimeter which is an enormous number of steps which means that this small torque gets uh, upgraded to a greater one and those reduce the steppings jerk around 600 millimeters per minute uh, pressure advance 0 0.2 0 0.3 okay this is some kind uh, so, somehow normal retraction 1 millimeter retraction speed 120 millimeter and motor current is 1.2 uh, amps peak or 0 0.85 amperes running which is again a lot and it uses a special motor which is LDO 36 STH 20 uh, 1004 HD uh, this is a special motor engineered for um, high performance extruders acceleration 10,000 millimeters per second square that's a lot and it can operate up to temperatures of 60 or 75 which makes it perfect for using it in Warren when the chamber temp can get well around 60 -ish degrees. Wrapper firm configuration not interesting. Clipper configuration they do include your uh, clipper configuration sample. Yeah, with pressure advance, with Team C configuration advance, and so on and so forth. With a bit of information about setting up your driver, setting up the current, and so on and so forth. And there is another part, oh, that's a continuation, which is which covers modeling configuration and uh, G-code configuration if you're unable to recompile a firmware, but you can do the, um, well, you can add a G-code to configure your motor. And it also covers, um, yeah, it also covers manual reference voltage adjustment if you're drivers are well dump thanks for order for original LDO orbiter via v.2 extruder your continued supports highly appreciated same here LDO motors same here 
papers away, let's get out the extruder itself. There's something in there. Oh, wrench, of course. And uh, uh, what's that? That's a port. Hmm. Strange thingy. That's some kind of cable, but I'm not sure where should I use it because okay, this gets in there and then I get this, like what printer it's meant to. Nevertheless, okay, this is not important anymore. Enough with packaging, let's take a look on the extruder itself. Um, this is uh, Eldo Motors 1.8 degree uh, 35 millimeter pancake stepper. And Eldo Motor 2nd edition has a MGF 3D printed case as far as I know. So the difference between 1.5 and 2 is that you can, it's not have a project anymore. You cannot just go build yourself an uh, extruder unless you're having an, yeah, an MGF printer in your garage. Um, this is some serious engineering and everything is built in and uh, it's not just, well, a piece of plastic when you put a lot of uh, threaded inserts in. S but still, let's get to disassemble the thing a bit because, well, sure, you're interested what's inside. Let's start by removing the latch and I will zoom in a bit so you can see it better. Let's start by removing the latch. And when you remove the ledge, you can see some features of the extruder because first of all, you have larger uh, Bontek gears. And with larger gears, you have much more uh, space, dragging space and much more place for your filament to catch in. So this is again, bigger torque and more stable torque. Um, I suppose this sledge is not removable unless I push the spin out. No, it's not. And the second thing I can remove, and by the way, there are some remains of the filament, so this uh, extruder has been tested. Let's remove the um, motor. And hopefully then we will be able to see the gearbox. The motor is held by two screws, so let's remove one, and let's remove the second one. There is a, lo a lot of grease, uh, and here you can see the gearbox, there's three gears, which are uh, adjacent to the main gear, which is inside the casing. I suppose if I remove this, this screw, I will be able to remove the casing and show you the internals. So yeah, here it is, the outer gear and three inner gears. Let's try to remove them as well. I shouldn't be doing it with my fingers, but yeah. Here you can see the milled, I suppose, yeah, I suppose it's milled uh, base for the gears and I cannot remove it unless I screw out the filament guide here. So let's find a screwdriver. Will this one work? No, it's too small. And this one could be too fat for that. Oh, no. it's just as needed. Okay, let's carefully remove the filament guide. Suppose I can just unscrew it. Please don't break. And once I remove the filament guide, and as you can see, there is a little bit of treadlock here, the blue one, I can remove the 
here hopefully still no I still cannot remove it probably because it's still blocked by the big bowden gear here inside so let me find a tool to remove it here it is I suppose it will be treadlock too so I expect some force little click here and yes this nice piece of aluminum falls out I don't think it's powdered probably it's milled yeah it's most definitely milled and with that out of the way I suppose we can take a look on the big Bowden gear if I can manage to push it out here it is please go out here it is so this has a Bowden gears used in the LDO orbiter well it's like two times bigger let me just uh, get another set of uh, Bontek gears and I'll show you how big they are so if you take a standard Bontek extruder parts here come on this is a standard gear size and this is a gear used by the orbiter so you can see the difference so it's much more torque and much more area for the filament to grab to that's all what I have for you today I believe this is gonna be an awesome extruder uh, and I believe if you are curious what's inside the LDO Orbiter 2.0 well you, you do know now without just assembling yours and uh, the next adventure is to put it back together of course yeah but the next adventure is to get a um, printed parts required uh, to mount this extruder to Voron 2.4 which I will do a bit later and probably cover in another video nevertheless that's all I have for you today and yeah see you later